story is, uh, this is a company that has $5 billion of capital uh, that's now listed on the New York Stock Exchange, and we've designed the most investor-friendly structure in the history of SPACs without any form of compensation for the people uh, doing the work, um, which really aligns our interests with our shareholders and, you know, really happy with the reception uh, we got during the roadshow process. And uh, we put together, I think, one of the greatest collections of investors in the world uh, to partner with us in what we're trying to do, which is to buy a minority interest in a very high quality uh, growth company that we're going to take public uh, in an IPO. You know, there's some other bells and whistles and things we've done to design a structure that is both investor friendly to shareholders, but also merger friendly to our potential partner. And that I think will enable us uh, to uh, make a deal that's good for both parties. By the time we identify a target, announce a transaction, the stock should trade up meaningfully. One, because uh, we're going to you know, buy a great company at a very attractive valuation for the minority interest that we're purchasing. Yes. Two, because the shares are attached to warrants. And as long as the stock trades above the $20 redemption price, no one redeems. And we eliminate the biggest problem of SPACs, which is they're scrambling to raise capital at the time they do a deal. Here we've raised $5 billion and the money will be there. Uh, raised $4 billion, committing a billion. Money will be there at the time we do a transaction. So time to target. And then what kinds of areas are you targeting? We know that you've given a list of, of four sort of elements that you really want to see and that you're looking at. Uh, can you give us any more details? Uh, absolutely. So, uh, you know, we think the target universe is probably 150 companies total, $10 billion plus, plus private companies. There are more that we're not including. We're not including in that uh, subsidiaries of large corporations. We're not including some employee-owned uh, businesses um, in that list. But you know, the list is broader than 150. We think the top third will meet our quality thresholds. We're looking for a you know simple, predictable, free cash flow generative company, with very high barriers to entry, uh, with minimal exposure to what we call risks, uh, extrinsic risks, risk we can't control. We're looking for the super durable, uh, great growth business that we can own for the next decade. That's kind of the target. The list is a list that we have in mind. Um, there may be others we're not aware of. We, we welcome the phone call. Uh, but we're going to comb through that list. If stick with me, Vani, if you will, please. Um, we're going to we're going to look at every deal over the next, you know, call it, we're going to see every deal over the next six months. I mean, this is, what's interesting about this transaction is every investment banker around the globe is aware that we've just raised the largest blank check company in the world. We've got $5 billion of capital that we're looking forward to committing to buy a minority common stock interest in a company. It's the only such pool in the world. I refer to it in a way uh, as its own unicorn. And basically, we're in a, a unicorn mating dance. And we want to you know, marry a very attractive unicorn on the other side that meets our characteristics. And we've designed ourselves to be a really attractive partner. And, and that's what we're going to do. We would certainly take a look at a company like Airbnb. I've always admired the business. I've admired its economic characteristics. I know many Airbnb, uh, you know, a friend who makes a large amount of her income uh, by renting out uh, the ground floor of her, her brownstone has had amazing experience with the company. Um, you know, certainly a business we would look at, very attractive economic characteristics. We don't require that a company today is cash flow positive on an overall basis. We just require it has extremely economic, attractive characteristics and that we can predict with a pretty high degree of confidence how those cash flows will grow over the long term. And that's the kind of business that we're looking at.